This is it. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports, where I bring you the latest breaking news and major sports stories concerning my favorite teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Barcelona Football Chelsea Football Club, the dominating force of London. Yes, London is blue. Big up. Good afternoon and welcome back, Dre Anywhere Sports fans. So, this new story I'm going to give you, it's about my Dallas Cowboys. As I said, as you know, those who follow me, um, I support and I cover stories about my players and my teams, specific teams. All right, so, Trayvon Diggs, people, arguably one of if not the best cornerbacks in the entire nfl not just the nfc or the nfc east but the entire nfl last season hear this number 11 interceptions for the cornerback the most by any player in 40 years so all them times revis island remember daryl revis over there, Jets and uh, which other team he played for. But anyway, Revis. Yeah, I think he was in Patriots too. All them players, Gilmore. 11 interceptions for the season for a cornerback. The most in 40 years. Trevon Diggs, people. Only three years in the NFL this season. So last season was his second year. Stud in the cornerback position. But, you know, many people know that Cowboys used to be America's team in my opinion still America's team even though the Patriots won so many um, championships in that Tom Brady era well Diggs second season NFL was historic because of his 11 interceptions on the other hand he was the only cornerback to allow more than a thousand receiving yards the opponents last season according to pro football focus Diggs is entertaining his third season in nfl and sixth as defensive back after switching over from wide receiver his sophomore season at alabama Diggs says i feel like i've grown a lot i know a lot of football and have seen a lot of football now it's just kind of neutral to me and i do feel a lot better than last year can you imagine <laughs> Before Diggs' 11 interception in 2021, the last player in the NFL to record that many picks in a season was Cowboys defensive back. How ironic. Everson Walls in 1981, before I was born, people. Diggs' seven interceptions in the first six games were the most since Hall of Famer Rod Woodson did in 1993. So he was on a six-game um, streak of seven interceptions. Brilliant stuff. Diggs also returned two interceptions, four touchdowns. We call that a pick six. He added 21 pass deflections, becoming the first player since that stat started being tracked in 1984 to have 11 interceptions and more than 20 pass breakups in a season. Put some respect on the man's name. He became the first Cowboy cornerback to earn first-team All-Pro honors since Deion Sanders' prime time in 1999. That's how long. But on the negative side of balance sheet, Diggs was the nearest defender in allowing 790 yards on 46 of 86 passes and 4 touchdowns, according to NFL Next Gen Stats. Hmm. So... So Diggs not getting his ratings amongst the NFL, they call this, the NFL GMs and scouts. But players-wise, he's number two on the cornerback's list. Um, Cowboys Vice President of Player Personnel, Will McClay, calls filing on Diggs play clickbait. Yeah, that's uh, people who criticize him. They call it clickbait so that they can get reactions. But 
Trevor Diggs, people. Want to think. Best cornerback in the NFL. If not, list who you think is better than Trevor Diggs. Big up on yourself, people. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go, Cowboys. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Dre Anyweather Sports. Tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend or a family member about Dre Anyweather Sports. And like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all those who have done so. Oh, those who haven't done so yet, just take a time out. It's free. Go ahead, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment or a thumbs up. Also, I want to take time out to give um, Talawa TV a big shout out there over there in the UK. Big up Crystal, um, doing great coverage over there for the reggae girls and on behalf of the reggae girls too. Number one trendsetter when it comes to that coverage there. Um, she also um, educates us on happenings concerning players that play in the UK and around the world too. Great stuff over there on Talawa TV. So give her a check out people and give her a subscribe too. I like her videos. Also want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers. Coach's Desk. Big look. Doing big things over there. Weekend Triple Treat. I'm part of the panelists. Also, Reggae Boys Commentary, Trendsetter, Simon Preston, Big Up Yourself, doing great things also for TVJ, Fourth Official, Rome, Big Up Yourself, Man New Fan, Long Time, Big Up. Also, I Am Sure Sports, Manning's Man, Big Big Arsenal Fan and Supporter, have a multiple programs over there covering all sports in and around Jamaican community. Now, also, another Arsenal man, military Guna. Big up yourself. Breaking news all the time concerning the reggae boys and Jamaica's football. Formula Sports, there in Jamaica also, covering football and sports in and around Jamaica. IMAX Football, another one. Big up yourself, JD, covering sports, English Premier League, local league, concerning and around the reggae boys, big up yourself, IMAX. Ryan LFC, big, big Liverpool fan and supporter over there in Canada. Another Jamaican, of course, big up yourself, always giving us interviews with reggae boys and uh, news stories concerning around the reggae boys football program and team. Again, remember, like, share, subscribe. Bless up everyone. This is Dre from Dre Anywhere the Sports. Until next time, I'm out. Looking forward to it.